Hello internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you an advanced WordPress optimization trick which will make your site a bit faster. For me it was about 20% faster load times for certain segment. Arnie, how does that sound? Well that hit the spot. Take sweat punch. We will install a plugin that will prefetch and preload the next page. What? Let me put that in context. Let's say somebody lands on your site and starts reading it. Then they click on the internal link and then the browser starts loading the new page. What this plugin does is that it will preload the HTML of that page beforehand. So not the images and videos, but just the code for them. So once the visitor clicks on the link, the page behind the link is already in the memory of the browser, so the page will load super fast. Now, as you can see, this optimization will only apply when the visitors go to the next page. This also means you won't see any improvements in GT metrics or Google's page speed insights, because this only applies when the user clicks on the internal link on your site. So make sure that you've optimized your website with an image compression and caching plugin. If you don't know how to do this, check out the tutorial. It should appear somewhere on top where I'll show you how to do it. So the difference is small, but if you have a website where people go from page to page, this will make the experience super smooth, like my chest after a wax. So let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, let's get started by installing the plugin. So first of all, let's go to plugins and add new. And in the search box, type in flying pages. It's this one with the bird. Just install it. And don't forget to activate it. All right, and anytime you want to access it, you can go to settings and then flying pages. Now the default settings are really good. I don't see any, any need to change them, but if you really want to play around, you can see them here. No shit. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, now we have the plugin. Let me show you how you can test that if everything is working. <clears throat> to do that, I'm going to use my real website that has about 18,000 visitors every month. So you can see it. This is my homepage. So just grab the URL of your homepage and go to Chrome and make sure you're not logged in to WordPress. Go to your website and then right click anywhere on the site and choose inspect. This will open up this DevTools and then you need to find this network tab and it might be hidden behind these arrows. So you might be able to see there. So just click on the network. You won't see much now, but once you start scrolling, scrolling a bit further, about the fourth or fifth link you'll start seeing that Flying Pages is loading the HTML for this page. So in this case, it's this add a video background in HTML. Same thing if I keep scrolling, you see this GoDaddy SSL certificate, here it is. So if I click on this one, the HTML is already preloaded, so it's much faster to load. You can see it was almost instant. This is how you can check that the plugin is working and that it's not blocking anything. So Basically, every time in the network tab, you should see uh, things loading. In some cases, it's something else. So for example, if you have a lazy loading plugin, it will also start loading the images for that page. And in this case, the YouTube. So you need to just keep an eye that it also has the initiator is actually flying pages, like for these three links here. Hercules, how did that go? Disappointed. Now this plugin won't just preload all pages on your site. It's smarter than that. It will preload pages in the viewport and if it doesn't work, it will preload pages on mouse hover. Not only that, but it will never jam your website because it has limits how many requests it will do. If visitor has a slow internet connection, in that case, it won't preload anything. Now, in terms of speed, I actually installed this already back in uh, almost two months ago. So here you can see my Google Analytics. I've filtered out by people that non-bounce traffic. So basically they came to the site and then clicked on something because if they came to the site and didn't click on anything, this plugin is not really good for that, right? It only works once somebody clicks on your next page. This kind of narrows down the traffic that actually could be impacted by this. 
And you can uh, always segment this in Google Analytics by coming to, to the segments and you can choose. This is a default segmentation. So you can always find it as non-bound sessions. Another thing, this report is under behavior and site speed. I'm using the page timings here. I hope all of this data doesn't make you like this. So you can see that on November 7th, that's when I installed this plugin. You can see after that, before that, it was hovering of somewhere around five seconds or so. And now it's a bit closer to three. Now this view is a bit hard to see. So I also have a comparison here. So you can see here, the first day here is November 7th as first date. And then it's just looking at the previous period for that. So since then, I pretty much have had a bit faster page. So it's 23% faster. And actually for a, such, such a simple um, plugin, it's pretty remarkable what they can do. You need to keep in mind that this is only for non-bound sessions. So it's not, it's not going to apply to everybody. So those that don't click to a next page, this won't even have an effect. Now is 23% improvement really because of this plugin? Probably not all of it. There are many other things that can impact this number. Also non-bounce traffic doesn't mean that the visitor click on the internal link. It just means that they perform an action. That's usually a click on something that GA is tracking. Since you've optimized your website for speed, did you know that a CDN can significantly improve your loading times? I have two videos. The first one right here, I'll show you how Cloudflare's paid CDN improved my page speed by 50%. And in the second video right here, I'll show you how to install Bunny CDN, which is much cheaper than Cloudflare. Awesome.